when we talk about Nexus, we got uh, Nexus 2K, 5000 series, which, which is 5K, 7K. We got this three popular series of 7000. Three popular series. We also got 3000, 4000, but they are not popular. These three are unique. If you take 3000, they'll resemble same like this. So there is nothing unique there. So people don't teach that. People don't speak much about that. But these three are very unique. Next is 7000, 5000, 2000. If you see Nexus 2000, it will be very uh, small, slim box. Um, the biggest of uh, 2K will be like two rack units, it's not more than that. Most of the most of the 2Ks are one rack unit size, and one particular series is two rack units. It's little, little bulky, not more than that. You understand what is rack unit, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. The normal router size is one rack unit. The two rack unit maximum. Now you also have five five thousand series. In five thousand also we have various sizes. You know, Nexus five thousand series comes in various sizes, uh, but not too big like seven thousand series. Seven thousand series comes in uh, uh, medium size as well as very big size. So we got these as popular version. And then we also have Nexus 9000 series, which is also used in ACI environment. No other devices will support ACI except 9000 series. Nexus 9000 alone supports ACI. Nexus 9000 has got two faces. It can be a Nexus switch, it can be a ACI switch. It has got an XOS as well as ACI in one same box. You may run that 9000 series in ACI mode or in a Nexus mode. In 9000 series, when you have a Nexus mode, you can't have ACI. Anyone? Anyone, either it can be ACI or it can be Nexus. We'll talk about that later when we go there. ACI, ACI mode and the Nexus mode, right? Yeah, NXOS mode, which is called Nexus mode, NXOS mode, NXOS. NX means Nexus operating system. NXOS mode, another mode is ACI uh -huh. mode. Okay. The operating system that runs on these devices are called as NXOS. All, all Nexus devices and all Nexus devices, the operating system that is running is NXOS. NXOS. Right. So, if you take, you know, um, this 7K and 5K, they are switching capable devices. Means they can do layer 2, they also can do layer 3, uh, depending on the module, they got the switching capability. What does it mean? It means that 2K is not 2K is not a switching capable device. That's the meaning of this. Meaning uh, 2K is just an extend, extender. Extender. Okay. 2K is just an um, expansion module. Expansion module. Do you know expansion module? We, if you take a router, you will have some uh, additional ports to connect. You can you can connect. Uh, you can you can add some additional ports to an expansion slot. Okay. You know, there will be a metal uh, piece with a screw. We unscrew and then we insert. Uh, we insert some ports. Have you done that? Have you seen that? No, not yet. Okay. All right. If you take. Uh, Expansion the, the card like yeah the expansion card so that you will have more ports uh, if oh. if routers come with two port if you want two more oh. port uh, we will have a bay where we can insert two more ports 
and when we reboot we will have now four ports earlier it was only two ports okay. those so how, how how we are connecting between this expansion card through rj45 or some other no, no, no. it will yeah. just go inside the box itself um I, I'm just talking about the expansion model. Right now, I'm not oh. talking about 2K. I'm trying oh. to explain what is 2K with the example of expansion module. You can unscrew this and you can add more ports to this. This is actually a router, backside of the router. Let me try to have more pictures for you. No, 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 we'll talk about that. That is also true. When we talk about Nexus, that is, see, this is how you can add additional slot. You just insert this. You just insert this to the bay, the expansion bay. See, when you buy a router sometime, you know, you will, you will have this bay, additional. Uh, it's a metal, you just unscrew and remove this metal and insert a card like this so that you will have additional port. If you insert this, you will get two ports. This we called as expansion module. Now, 2K is a separate switch as you thought. What you said is correct. 2K will be like a switch, but it will act as an expansion module for 5000 or 7000. 2K cannot work independently. Can this work independently? Can this card work independently without plugging into a device? Not possible, no? Of course not. Of course not. Not possible. Likewise. This Nexus 2000, let me show you Nexus 2000. The Nexus 2000 series switches are hardware switches. Oh, Cisco. This are see, like same like a switch. This is Connexus 2000 series fabric. It is just a fabric extender. See, they have written here. It is just an expansion module. It's a fabric extender. <coughs> this cannot work. This cannot work like a switch. You cannot use this without 5000 series of Nexus or 7000 series of Nexus. It is like it is like, you know, the branch of a tree. You need a root for the tree to be green and stand straight and for the tree to have life. Root is important. This 2K is like a plant without a root. Then what becomes a root? This 5000 series or 7000 series only can be a root for 2K. So without Connecting this 2000 series Nexus to a device, this is just a piece of metal box. It is, it is not going to do any switching capability, meaning it will be equal to a dead box. There won't be any operating system also. Come again? Yeah, inside this appliance, inside this 2000 series, you won't even find an operating system installed. When you plug in this 2000 series to 5000 series, 5000 series will, will, will recognize that I'm connected to one 2000 series when we put a command switch port mode fix fabric. When we put that command on the port where this 2000 is connected, when you put the command, this 5000 will start discovering 2000 connected to 5000 on a port. And then it slowly push the operating system that is necessary for the 2000 series to work with 5000 series. This 2000 as I said, it is not a switch. It cannot work independently. It's a remote line card. It's a remote expansion module. It's a remote expansion module. Earlier in the picture, I showed you the expansion module, which is which can be integrated. Okay. 
But this Especially one... Without, without having any control plane, right? Yeah, no control only, plane. Only data plane. Very correct. Very correct. Very, very correct. This switch will, will be getting live, that is data plane, only when there is a control plane on the top. Directs. Otherwise, there is a dead data plane there, nothing. It's a dead box. It won't even have an operating system. You won't even see a console port on this. You cannot you cannot log into this device. No console port. You can't manage this device. This is not at all a device to be managed independently. It needs to be connected to a parent device. So, switch is only 5K and 7K, it is not 2K. 2K will be added to 5000 series if you want more ports. If you don't have enough port on 5000 series to connect the servers, if you don't have enough ports, then you may buy one 2000 series, add it to the one of the port, add it to one of 10 gig port, and then you will get more ports now. The 10 gig will be shared to the ports that are there in the 2K. Okay. Uh, so it's a kind of port virtualization we do, port virtualization. We take one port of 5000 series Nexus and we virtualize into maybe 24 ports or 48 ports or 96 ports. So, Nexus 7000 and 5000 have got switching capability. So, we will we'll talk about this in much more detail later. So, we got uh, an introduction to a Nexus operating system here. So, this Nexus operating system, what is special in this? The, the operating system that can work in a data center environment is Nexus. The catalyst operating system, the catalyst switches, see the switches in Cisco are called as catalyst switches. Why? Catalyst is a company, <clears throat> was a company, which the Cisco has purchased. Cisco owns the company called Catalyst now. So those switches are called as catalyst switches. And the operating system that is running inside the catalyst switch is actually Cisco's operating system. But because it is running on a Cisco's, uh, sorry, Catalyst's device, it is called now Catalyst Cisco Catalyst iOS. iOS is the operating system name of a Cisco device. But because it is running on Catalyst, which it is Catalyst iOS, basically Cisco's operating system for switch is called Catalyst iOS. Now that iOS is not enough for a data center uh, for for data center catalyst operating system is not sufficient the features in catalyst switches won't support all that you need in a data center so the nexus operating system is designed to meet the needs of a data center now what is the need in a data center what is that the unique feature that you want in a data center? If you take an enterprises, they don't work on fiber channel. They don't work on storage, SAN. They don't work on SAN. In enterprises and in, in service provider, we we only work on Ethernet, on serial wires and but, Ethernet technologies. But Moshe is not having the fiber, right? Now the fiber cable is different. Um, here what I mean is the, the fiber that carries the SAN storage data. Okay. In data center, the traffics are moving inside the data center to 
put the data into a storage box and to read the data from the storage box. That's the purpose of the network in a data center. The purpose of network in service provider and enterprises is not to read and write to and from the disk. Only in data center we read and write from a disk. So the fiber that we use in data center and fiber that you use in enterprises and service provider world is different. Here you have fiber so that you can travel for long distance where in service provider and enterprises long distance and fast communication. Yes. But the purpose of fiber in data center is to carry sand traffic which cannot be carried by Ethernet technology. Ethernet cannot carry sand, tra sand, sand traffics. So, we need a special operating system that can understand the fiber channel, sand traffics, the fiber channel traffics. So here when I say fiber channel traffics, FC traffics, what it means is, it means other than Ethernet. Other than it is Ethernet, you have only sand. Reading from a disk and writing to a disk. So, fiber channel traffic, FC traffic. So, I'll simply say FC traffic. FC traffics and the Ethernet traffics, both can be handled by NXOS. NXOS can have FC natively on the port. In a catalyst switch, you will not see FC natively on the port. You will have a converter from Ethernet to FC. That's how you have fiber SFP, SFP ports. Correct. So that's how you will have fibers in your enterprises and in your service provider. But here you will have natively on your uh, motherboard native FC and and in the, in the switches in catalyst you will have only trunk and access trunk and access but in Nexus you will have FC F port E port T port FX port these are all different modes like access mode and trunk mode we have in catalyst in FC world, in fiber channel world, we have F port, fabric port, F means fabric, fabric port, E port, expansion port, trunk expansion, T port. So, Nexus operating system has got a lot of features which suits very well in data center which we don't find in a normal catalyst switch. That's why we need this NXOS. NXOS have got a unified setup, both Ethernet as well as the fiber channel setup. If you don't have NXOS, then what is the option? If you don't have NXOS, then you need to buy a SAN switch and the Ethernet switch. For SAN traffics, you will have a SAN switch. For Ethernet traffic, you will have a catalyst switch, Ethernet switch. So, number of devices is going to double in your data center if you don't have NXOS. I'm just trying to explain you why NXOS is. Can I ask you one question? Yeah, anytime, anytime. Question, yes, anytime. This is traffic which you are telling. This is for storage you are telling, right? Yeah. Okay, means from any server or from any from any hard Yeah, between server to a uh, IBM machine or IBM storage or NetApp storage from a okay. from a Dell server. So in order to 
capture this traffic, we cannot use any element in the material. No. Yeah, that is what preferred, but due to the advancement in Ethernet today, we can encapsulate the SAN and you can carry the SAN over the Ethernet. That is also there. So, um, but that is not natively. See, it is FCOE, fiber channel over Ethernet. So basically, you got Ethernet and you encapsulate FC with Ethernet so that so that it can go from point A to B as Ethernet and get decapsulated and then go as fiber as it goes to the storage box. So what I mean is we got a storage, let me, we got a storage box, we got an initiator means a server, we call this initiator. Initiator. And then uh, target. Between the initiator and the target, let's say we, ha we have very good high speed Ethernet. Then what we can have is with NXOS but not with Catalyst, okay? It's only with NXOS you can do. If you have an access operating system on these devices, then you can take the FC traffic from here. FC traffic, this is also an FC port. It's not an Ethernet port. You take the FC traffic. And then from here onwards, you encapsulate into, you take the FC and you encapsulate the FC with Ethernet source and destination MAC address and packet will move up to here with this MAC address because you got only Ethernet in the middle. According to this middle switches, okay, I didn't draw many middle switches. Let's say this is Ethernet only. This is Ethernet only, but this is FC. This is Nexus OS. This is NX OS. So these switches don't understand FC. So what we do? We take the FC, encapsulate it with Ethernet. As they go to this switch, they will be seen as an Ethernet packet because it has got an Ethernet header. Based on the MAC address, it moves the packet here. And the packet gets decapsulated and it is released out as an FC. This is also available in Nexus. So you can natively have FC everywhere. All this links may, can be FC. If all these links are FC, then there is no need for FC OE. There is no need for encapsulation. You can natively route FC traffic. Yeah. So Uh, Nexus OS is capable of doing all this. It can carry native FC. It can carry FC on top of Ethernet. It even can carry FC on top of IP. FC, IP. Meaning, instead of encapsulating with a MAC address, you encapsulate with layer 3 header. So that it can travel to a long distance, maybe from uh, from Dubai to uh, Zuri. Mm -hmm. So all these are possible in NXOS, which is not available in Catalyst switches. Let's go back to the content. So we understand one thing very well here is we need an NXOS for a data center. The reason is we want a switch that can understand fiber channel and Ethernet. We want a switch which will have both coexist on the same device. Right. 
And then these topics are not a big new topics for you, trunking, VLAN, because you know Nexus supports both Ethernet and FC. These topics we will see how Nexus can be configured with trunking and VLAN, port channel, SVI layer three interface, IP ACL. These are all normal switch features. This is not a big deal. I don't think you will have any doubt in the question in these topics. Do you? Trunk, VLAN, no, no, port okay. channel. These are all very no, basic. I'm not master, but I know. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I'll walk you through those things later. Um, I'm just going through the content today. So, you can uh, manage it through Telnet, SSH. We can enable STP, rapid spanning tree. Uh, you can tune rapid spanning tree. Or you can have MST. Um, virtualizations. We have a different type of virtualization. Nexus switch supports. One of the virtualization, the unique virtualization that we have in Nexus is VDC. What is VDC? Virtual Device Context. Virtual Device Context, VDC. This VDC is to take one physical box and cut it into multiple virtual box. So you buy one Nexus switch, but it will it will support you as if you bought four or six or eight Nexus switches. Just one physical box, but you can use that one box as if you have got eight virtual boxes. Six virtual box or four, it depends on your license that you have for this Nexus. We can have multiple Nexus boxes virtually through this feature called VDC. VDC stands for Virtual Device Context. Context is nothing but virtual switch. Context. Now, this is one of the unique virtualization feature in Nexus. The second one is VPC, Virtual Port Channel. See, we know about Port Channel. Port Channel itself is a virtualization. We see here the Port Channel topic. Port Channel itself is a virtualization. What do we do in Port Channel? We take multiple physical links. We bundle them as one virtual link aggregate them that itself is virtualization but this is something more than that this is not just bundling links this is bundling links between three switches usually bundling links only will happen between two switches if you take port channel it is only possible between the links that are connected back to back between two switches. This is port channel. But VPC is between three switches. VPC is we have three switches. One link is in this switch, another link is in this switch. Bundling this two Okay, is what called as VPC. Virtual. Oh, different we can form. Uh, yeah, we can form a bundle between these two links that are connected to two different switches with this feature called VPC. A normal port channel cannot do this. Oh, yes, normal port channel is only between two switches. But VPC is between three switch like this. Now, this is one of uh, another unique feature that we have only on Nexus OS.
And then as like routers, Nexus switches also support routing protocols like BGP, EIGRP, OSPF, static route, and all the stuff, you know, we have HSRP, we have VRRP. And then um, in the advanced topics, we will be talking about FIX. What is FIX? FIX stands for Fabric Extender. Mm -hmm. FIX, you know, Fabric Extender. You know, this 2000 series is what called as FIX. 2000 series. Which we told earlier. Which we spoke, yeah, earlier. Yeah. Nexus 2000 can be an extender resource. We learned it as an extender, right? We can extend more ports. And V2000 is, is like a remote line card. It's like a remote, not the line card integrated to the box. It's a line card away from the box, but working along with this box. That's why I call it as a remote line card. That is what we have another name to call. It is FEX, Fabric Extender. So the 2000 series helps to extend the fabric, the Nexus fabric. It helps to extend by giving you more ports. Right. Okay. Basically, the fabric is the one, the, the logical switch inside the inside the device, right? No, 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 no. When we say fabric, when we say fabric, in 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 Nexus world, in data center world, this is what called as fabric. This is fabric. Ah, okay. This is fabric, and by adding one two thousand series to this box. You will, you are you are able to extend more number of ports to the fabric, correct? Yes, yes. Mm. That's what you know, fabric extender. That's how they have given the name fabric extender. Now we'll see how to configure fabric extender. We'll also see how to configure VPC that we learned above with fabric extender also. <laughs> okay, and then the, the next unique feature in Nexus is OTV. So far we have seen three main unique topics. One is VDC, Virtual Device Context. The other one is VPC, Virtual Port Channel. And the third one that we are learning now is OTV. Overlay Transport Virtualization. Overlay Transport Virtualization. What is overlay? Opposite of underlay. What is underlay? The physical fabric is what underlay. The physical network, the physical topology is the underlay. On top of this physical topology, we can put virtual circuits, virtual topology. We call this overlay. Overlay, transport, virtualization. Overlay, transport, virtualization, OTV. Meaning, we are going to have a virtual circuits on top of the physical topology for transporting what? For transporting layer 2. We can call this as layer 2 over layer 3 technology. See, usually layer 3 travels on layer 2. But this is opposite transporting layer 2 on top of layer 3 means underlay is layer 3 overlay is layer 2 OTV but to do this OTV you need special device Nexus 7000 only 9000 won't support 5000 won't support only Nexus 7000 supports this feature called OTV. Likewise, VDC is also supported only in Nexus 7000 series. VDC and OTV, these two unique features are available only in Nexus 7000, not even in 5000. Only Nexus 7000. Okay. Fine. And then uh, OTV with multicasting. And then the last topic in the Nexus is 
BX LAN. It's a beautiful technology. It's it's a it, it changes the dimension of the network. This BX LAN. It changes the perspective of the network. VXLAN. From the day where the VXLAN is introduced, the perception, the, the the way that people see the network started changing. A wonderful concept, VXLAN. I'll also add for you VXLAN with eVPN so that when you come to service provider, you will be able to understand that because this VXLAN with eVPN is seen in service provider. But it is very commonly you know, um, asked uh, in interviews, VXLAN and VXLAN EVPN. So I'll cover both VXLAN and VXLAN EVPN in an XOS in our example. After all this, we will start ACI. All right. So these topics are only for Nexus. Nexus only topics. I'll share with you this content through mail. After we finish all these topics, we will get into... Um, ACI. Now, in this, what are the main topics we have? Main topics are VXLAN, VXLAN with EVPN, uh, OTV, and then BPC and VDC. These are all the unique topics that you have in Nexus. All other topics are well known for you. You know, EIGRP, you know, static road, you know, OSPF, you know, MST. All these things are not new to us. In Nexus, the new topics are VDC, VPC, uh, OTV, and VXLAN. And VXLAN, just four main topics, uh, and OTV. Hmm? Just four or five main topics. All the rest are the same story that we learned in our enterprises world. But we will also go through that one. Our main focus should be on these things more than those topics. So when someone interviews on Nexus, definitely they will not be asking you about MST. Why will they ask you about HSRP and VRRP? Those things they will ask only to those enterprises people. Because they are not unique to Nexus. They may ask you, but the unique topics is what they have to focus. They will focus if they are, if they are, if they know the subject. Then, if the interviewer knows the subject, then he will not be asking about trunk and VLAN and uh, SVI and ACL. He will straight away ask you about VDC, VPC, uh, VXLAN, and FEX, VPC, OTV. That is what you know. They are going to test us with. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what for.